Two men seriously injured in a fire and explosion near Atchison, Kansas, are recovering today in Kansas City. But now, a day later, investigators are still trying to figure out what went so wrong there. Lexi Suter joins us live from GW, GBW Rail Services, where the state fire marshal we know just wrapped up a field investigation there. Lexi. Jodian, it is a much different scene out here in Atchison tonight. And get a look at this facility behind me. It's empty now, it's dark, and that's because the company shut it down for the time being. The Kansas State Fire Marshal wrapped up its investigation, found nothing criminal, but other agencies like OSHA are still sorting through the debris inside there, looking for some answers. Now, 17 workers were inside when the company says there was a fire, followed by an explosion in the building where tank cars are cleaned. Doctors treated seven of those people at a hospital here in Atchison, but paramedics Medics took two others who have serious burns and other trauma to the University of Kansas Hospital. They are now both in fair condition, but a doctor we talked with today says the medical team is keeping a close eye on them during their recovery. These explosion related injuries can have effects that are not obviously visible right away. Some of the um, injuries uh, and effects may be visible after um, or obvious after three, four, five weeks, even three months. So having a close contact with the patient, close follow-up with the patient, and be able to provide the uh, holistic uh, care for these patients is very important. I did speak with the paramedic director for Atchison County. He said when they got the call, of course, uh, all of his people were thinking the worst, but the rescue efforts went according to plan, and he says he feels very fortunate that everyone got out of that facility alive. Reporting live in Atchison, Kansas, Lexi Suter, 41 Action News.